Hey, good morning, people. Welcome to... I don't know what kind of video this is, is going to be. Probably a vlog, but I'm mostly just going to be showing you what I eat on a day. On a day. What I eat in a day on keto. So, a little background before I um, show you everything that I eat today. I did start keto about mid-July, but I haven't been consistent. And I have had days where I've eaten carbs and sugar and all of that stuff. So I haven't really even gotten to ketosis because I keep having my carb days. But I have lost nine pounds in that month and a half. And I know I could lose more if I was more disciplined. So I'm ready to get on my shit today for the millionth time. I just need to really stick to it because I know I can lose weight this way, but I always give in to my cravings and have excuses. Okay, so I am gonna have some coffee. Um, because I'm not hungry yet but I usually do about a cup of this Starbucks blonde roast iced coffee it's unsweetened and then half a cup of this almond milk unsweetened as well and then I'll do like an eighth a cup of this heavy whipping cream and then just depending on how I feel um, maybe two to three uh, tablespoons of the swerve and this is the um, sugar replacement and it tastes so good it does doesn't feel like you're like eating one of those sugar replacements that give you like that aftertaste this is the best one so I always use this for anything that I have to sweeten and then I'm just gonna put it in here and mix it up in my little blender because I like to break down all that sugar so and then I'll pour it over ice Okay, so I decided I'm gonna make breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. My sister's outside mowing the lawn, and uh, I feel bad because she probably needs to eat because she has to go to work. So I'm just gonna make us some breakfast quesadillas. So I will show you how I do that. All you need is some eggs, pepperoni, or meat of your choice. I've used sausage before, but I really like the pepperoni. Um, and then I have two slices of just American cheese and then I have one of these you'll use one carb balance uh, flour tortilla which is six grams of net carbs that you can see there and I will show you everything on my carb manager today of how much the carbs I'm eating and just my macros in general okay I got my four eggs in here if you are only making this um, for yourself I would just do two eggs I only do two eggs for one serving um, and then I have a little bit of Himalayan pink salt that I'm going to just kind of put in there. So I'm just going to kind of scramble these up and get them all cooked up. Oh, and before I forget, we need to put our pepperoni in. So when I made one last night, I used, I used six pepperonis. So um, like I said, I put that all in Carb Manager and I'll explain it to you, but I'll just do, I think I'll probably do like maybe 10 right now and I'm just ripping them up. So that was two, just rip them up and let them cook into the eggs. So put that all in there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is put one half of this mixture onto the tortilla to where you can see it sorry my so up close put that in best you can and then I just put the <clears throat> the American cheese slice right on top like that just rip it in half put it on top okay, we got our melted butter right here I basically just put it right in there like that fold it into a half And I basically just let that cook down just to where this thing gets, the tortilla gets nice and crispy. I'll do that to both of them and then I'll show you when I'm done. Here it is all done. Um, it does get kind of messy. Let me just show you. I do like to cut it. Oh, let's see. It does fall out, but uh, there you go. There's the cheese, pepperoni, egg. And then I just did a tablespoon of sour cream. And you could use like hot sauce or whatever. I'm not a hot sauce lover. So I'm just going to eat this. 
and I will show you how many carbs it was net carbs and that's my breakfast slash lunch okay I'm going to have some more coffee it is three o'clock right now and I'm not really hungry yet I think we ate around like 11 10 or 11 and I'm not hungry yet I know what I'm gonna make for dinner but I'm not hungry yet so I'm gonna have some more coffee just the same way that I made the one this morning except for I use a little less sweetener because the one I made this morning was a little too sweet so I'm gonna drink my coffee and then go watch him ride his bike and I will be back for dinner time okay so it is 4 35 and I'm starting to get hungry now so I'm gonna make egg roll in a bowl um, but before I ha make that I'm gonna have one of these panino hard salamis um, wrapped in cheese mozzarella cheese I think it's only one gram of carbs per this but I might be wrong but I'll put it in my carb manager I like to get these at work um, they're really good so I'm just gonna have one and then I'm gonna make my egg roll in a bowl So I realized that I used pork sausage, which is like for breakfast foods, and you're supposed to use ground pork. So we'll see how this turns out. It looks pretty much the same. You can change it up. Like you can even use ground beef. You could use turkey. I've tried ground turkey personally, and I didn't like it. It didn't have enough flavor for me. So we'll see how this one turns out. It's pretty much done now. The best part of it is the sesame oil. I do like a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Never mind, I can save it for you. Well, I guess you don't really even need that much, but that just gives it like a good sesame taste. Ew. So that meat is like a little bit salty. That's why I like the regular pork sausage. But this one's okay, it turned out fine. But I am gonna have this uh, crystal light packet. I'm just going to put it in this water bottle here. It says to mix it with, I think, 20 or 16 ounces. But I noticed that if you put too much water, it takes some of the flavor away. So these are zero calories, zero sugar, no gram, no carbs. So I just shake that up. When I have my ice here, I'm just going to put it in. I got some refreshing peach iced tea and that is my dinner oh what I was also gonna mention is um, you don't realize how much you really are eating in a day unless you track it I'm not saying everyone should track their food there's way different ways to lose weight and whatever but once you track your food you really see how much you're consuming and it seems like I didn't eat a lot today but adding up all the ingredients individually and putting them into the carb manager, I can. it looks like I've eaten like a lot. So I am actually below my macros for the day, um, for my calorie count at least. Um, so I try to stay below 20 grams of carbs, 20 or less, um, to for on keto. And then as far as my calories, I think it's like 14, almost 1500. Um, right now I'm like on a, a little bit over a thousand. And I feel okay even if I just stay under it. Usually at night if I get hungry, I try to drink tea. So I will, if I do, I'll show you what tea I drink. <laughs> but um, what I was going to say is, yeah, just tracking really does help you because you realize how much you actually are consuming. So just an FYI if you've never done it before. I still have the rest of my tea over there that I got to finish. And that is my favorite one. I've tried a lot of the Crystal Light packets and um, a lot of them to me still have like that aftertaste you know kind of like that diet aftertaste but that one the peach tea uh, does not it's really really good like I could drink that all day even though I shouldn't but I could um, so yeah I, I do drink water as well um, I kind of suck drinking water when I'm home but when I'm at work I have it's not over here I have like a huge uh, I think it's like 70 or 80 ounce bottle that I like to drink during the day 
when I'm at work it's easier when I'm home I don't really like to sit and sip water but I'm sitting at my desk at work and I will just drink water um so yeah I'm pretty much done eating for the day I think I'm pretty full I didn't like I had like a couple bites left in that bowl that I didn't finish I'm really tired <sighs> so I will um probably show you what I eat tomorrow as well so yeah good morning guys so right now I'm gonna be for breakfast I'm gonna be making a 90 second uh, keto bread in the microwave so there's a scoop a tablespoon of this cream cheese it's a spread two tablespoons of Kerrygold butter right here three tablespoons of almond flour half a teaspoon of baking powder just to make it rise and then one egg so I'll just mix this up with the hand mixer and then you put it in the microwave for 90 seconds and I'll show you how that works okay so that is all mixed up there it is right there and then you can put it in any container you feel like but I'm, I am gonna do mine in a mug today because I want it to be longer so I can put it in slices so I'll just put it in there and then we'll put it in the microwave for 90 seconds and it'll be done okay there it is oh steaming up my there it is fresh out of the microwave so I'm gonna take it out and slice it up okay I let it chill in the what do you call it freezer for a little bit but you can see it's got that bread consistency so I'm actually gonna cut it in half and then probably just make like a sandwich out of it and a little floppy but there you go it's a 90 second keto bread I don't know what kind of sandwich I'm gonna make yet I'll see okay so I ended up just making like a little cheese sandwich out of it I put a slice of American then I grilled it in a pan with some butter um, so it's kind of like a little sandwich now and then I have like three strawberries here cut up and my coffee the same way I made it yesterday with the almond almond milk and the heavy creamer that's why there's kind of a whip on top so that's my breakfast hello so it's right now it's like about 4 30 ish um, the breakfast that I had I think I ate around like 11 so we went to Costco and I, huh? That's what I said, Costco. We went to Costco and uh, my mom bought these Yasso uh, mint chocolate chip frozen Greek yogurts. So these are 16 grams a carb per thing. So with this and what I have for breakfast, that put me about 20 grams for the day. So my dinner has to be basically less than 10 carbs, um, if any. So what I'm having is we have this rotisserie chicken that I got and then these smart buns they're made by the smart baking company they're the ones that also do smart cakes so as you can see on the box it says zero carbs so there's no carbs in these buns um, as far as taste I mean they don't taste like a real bun but um, oh the trick that I do is I toast them in the toaster to give them more of like a crisp because if not they have that kind of crumbly like that crumbly texture but once I toast them in the toaster they're pretty good so I'm gonna make a sandwich out of that rotisserie chicken and I'm gonna be using the G Hughes sugar-free um, honey mustard sauce so I'll just put that on there with the chicken and that's I have some uh, broccoli steaming in the microwave too right now so I might have that as a side but other than that that'll probably be the last thing that I eat today um, and I also might just have another one of those peach teas the crystal lights oh and I'm making a brownie bar but I'll show you with that when it comes out okay I found my side I have some cut up cucumbers right here I just put some uh, paprika on them I was trying to find my tahini, but I couldn't find it so I just put some paprika and then I have my sandwich here with the meat I'm pretty plain so don't mind me I should probably put some more toppings on here but I don't care and then I have my peach tea and this is my dinner. And then I will show you those blondie bars when they're out the oven. Those are mostly just gonna be for the week. I might have one, but I'll show you. Okay, so these are the um, blondie bite, blondie, blondie bars, whatever. How do you call it? I don't know how you say them, blonde bars. So if you can see, let me get in the, um, that one's kind of falling apart. Uh, 
my hands all greasy, but you can kind of see the texture of it. So I didn't show me making these. I just tried it today. I just tried the recipe that I got off YouTube. So if you just like YouTube keto, look at that, just fell apart. Keto blondie bars. Um, you'll find this recipe as like Lily's chocolate chips and you use almond flour. So it's one net carb per, per, per piece. So I'll have this during the week. I might have one right now. I'm done with my dinner. I'm just going to end this video because I'm done eating for the day. If I get hungry, like I said, I'll have tea. Let me show you the tea that I have. Okay, so the tea that I normally have is this I Love Lemon Tea um, by Bigelow. Bigelow. And this is really good. I will have this well, usually at night if I get like cravings or I get hungry. This will fill me up just like the hot lemon water will fill me up. And that's it. And I hope I explained everything that I ate today very well for the last two days but um, if you like this type of video let me know it does take a lot to make it so if you don't I totally understand but I, I personally like watching what I eat in a day videos because it gives me ideas and hopefully I gave you some ideas that you haven't already seen because a lot of the stuff that I made obviously I got from other people and other channels like keto channels and recipes off of Instagram so anyways um, if you haven't already subscribed, please go and do so. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.